press any button. Welcome to the Bulwark Evolving Demo. This demo will be improved and expanded upon for the duration of development. It serves to introduce people to the game as well as gain as much feedback as possible. The demo will get all the content for the game, but saving is disabled and there's a limit to the amount you can build. Okay. Look at the settings. I mean, it, it's all standard, but we'll see if it runs well. Uh, free build mode, trolls, exit game, campaign. This is the campaign mode. Here you get a taste of the open world building sandbox. It has a basic tutorial, a resource system based only on distance rather than how much you can produce, and an ever expanding set of encounters, world events, and unlockables. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I like the animations across the background there. Looks pretty cool. A word of advice. Click and build everywhere. There are no mistakes, and slowly figuring out what builds where and how things grow is part of the game. It's about experimenting, so don't be afraid and just go wild. Okay. You can also disable your tutorial right here, looks like. Uh, begin. Ah, you're finally here. We've already built a few essential buildings. I'll assist you in connecting things up and getting the settlement up and running. Okay. While you're on the ground, we will focus on a single building at a time. This will allow you to build outward in a variety of ways and upwards later on. Middle mouse button, orbit. Camera X Z to zoom in and out. Okay. E, okay. Whoa. Whoa. You cannot build here. There is no tower with access to wood nearby. Connect from a tower within range to a wood mill. Okay, there While you're on the ground, we will focus on a single building at a time. This will allow you to build outward in a variety of ways and upwards later on. There, okay. First, now I can connect this outpost see my to the cursor, window, which okay. is located down in the shallow water beside the sea tree fungi. Without wood, we cannot build. Okay. This resource extractor is missing access to workers. Uh, we want to probably build it there. This stone quarry works similarly to your wood mill. It produces stone that can travel a limited number of walkways. Okay. So we select by left mouse button and we build with right button. The cursor alignment with building is a little funky feel. Like I, I feel like a bit odd. Notice how workers are already building houses and industry along the walkway. Wherever you build and our workers can reach, it will settle. Let's now focus on the wood mill. This is your wood mill. It produces and transports wood across walkways. Let us build a basic wooden tower with a walkway towards it. Okay, cool. We just built a basic tower. It is used to connect up your settlement and transport vital resources. Workers will also build homes and industry around it. Okay. Wood can only travel a limited number of walkways away from the wood mill. But this can be increased by encouraging workers to build along walkways connected to the wood mill. Like we could build out... Prove your... Uh... Improve your woodmill by turning it into an industrial hub. So it's like 
you could like maybe you build out towards that stone out towards this but instead of going over maybe you go around you know build more towers let's just do that um maybe we build one off of this Why did it select that? That's weird. Okay. We get to see what towers. Input. Okay, inspect the, the resource flow with tab. So we get to see, like, the direction of material flow. We see that our wood mill is missing stone and iron. Okay. I think we just build straight over to this guy. Connect that I up. You can use this stone to upgrade various buildings and walkways. And, just like the wood mill, by allowing workers to build around it, the stone industry can expand. Oh. So if we select the stone quarry. The stone quarry works similarly to your wood mill. It produces stone that can travel a limited number of walkways. If we build like a little tower here. Great job. Now we have access to the quarry. Our wooden towers can be upgraded to stone. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, is there like a button to hold down to free look, to free roam? That would be kind of nice instead of uh, space. Okay, that was Shift. Roll all. But you can't like free look and move around, which would be nice. I'd like to be able to. I've never been a big fan of having to click from tower to tower to see your area. I'd rather be able to just wazda and move around. But that just adjusts your camera. A bit weird. Um. Select a basic wooden tower, and then, uh. Okay, cool. Can you select? Yeah, I can select that. Okay. Upgrade. So you have to select it, then mouse over it, then right-click it to up stone towers create stone walkways. Got it. If you rebuild a walkway adjacent to a stone tower in place of a current wooden one, it will be upgraded to stone. Got it. So if I rebuild this, it upgrades it. And this. Oh no. Just built out to there. <laughs> okay. Uh, got it. Outpost can be upgraded as well. Let's use the stone to upgrade the outpost to its second stage. Okay. We can add foundations to basic towers and outposts. These allow workers to build a higher class of housing on them, increasing the worker output. Okay. Add a foundation to your outpost. Extend the build line slowly until square icons are displayed right mouse button when a square is displayed so just out slowly and you get to see the square let's do it up here the worker output of our outpost 
can be improved further by connecting more towers and walkways to it. Okay. So if I... Select your outpost so we can start expanding it further. Build more. Can I just do that? Bad? Look that is. All towers allow for foundations, wood, stone, and later, command towers. Oh. Command towers also allow for battlements. Hey. We have done well. It is time we started being more ambitious. Take to the skies and seek out iron ore. Okay, switch to surveyor by hitting space. Your surveyor allows you to build resource extractors, harbors, and outposts on other islands. It will also help to get you out of trouble, which is never far on the Earthsea. Um, okay. I guess we follow the... Oh no, we don't follow a little beacon. Find an iron resource on one of the small islands nearby. Um... Iron. Your surveyor can build a mine on this spot. Workers will mine for ore, and the metallurgical industry will be built up around it. Mine will allow our most advanced towers and buildings. Excellent. We now have access to iron, but it needs to be transported across the water. Let us build a trade route for ships that can transport iron and other resources back and forth. Okay. Uh, harbors must be built in deep water, close to a shore, uh, bound building. So when your cursors changes our turn. Okay, so. Uh, maybe we go out a little bit. I'm guessing the anchor means we can build things. This is too close to something else. Okay. Ah, there it goes. Now we, we can now start. have access to iron, but it needs to be transported across the water. Let us build a trade route. Several captains are now available. Each captain hauls specific resources. For this trade route, iron is required, but wood is also recommended to expand the mine later. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, we have just the one captain here. There we got another one who specializes in stone and fisting. Um, he also is into it, but he also is into sawing things. Maybe I would saw it. Okay, well, sign it. I, I've I mouse over it, but it doesn't tell me. I'm guessing that's iron. I don't know what that is. Fighting, maybe? Or he's really strong? I don't know. So we assigned one captain. Um, apparently we can assign more than one? I'm confused, but... Okay. Uh, uh, we've done that. Harbors always need to be built as pairs. Oh. Oh. As soon as you build two... A trade going? route will connect them. Captains will carry your resources over vast distances. Where's he going? What the hell? Okay. Um, go back? <laughs> that was weird. I guess exiting out of that little iron building tutorial thing. Your to... surveyor can build a wood mill here. Build it and attract craftspeople and industry around it. Improving the distance, wood can be supplied in our settlement. Okay. Let's build it... Uh... Right here.
Yeah, the mouse clicking funk, they need to fix this, I think. This is a bit weird. Or maybe they're already married to it, I don't know. It definitely is is awkward. Like, the camera movements and mouse movements are, is very awkward. Um, we've built that. I think that's all we can do. Okay, so now we need to be we need to build a destination harbor. Um, golden arrow on your surveyor compass will point you back to the outpost. Okay, I guess we just head back to the outpost and then we build um something over here. Is there a mini map? Don't think so. Um, I mean, I'm zoomed out as far as it'll let me. That's as far out as we go. Um, I guess we build... This is too close to something else. Here. Okay. There we go. Select your outpost so we can start expanding it further. Yeah, the compass acts as like the mini-map, I suppose. Switch over to ground mode. Um, you need to select the outpost. Um, okay. With iron, we can start building defensive structures, such as imposing command towers. But before doing so, we need to upgrade our outpost into a proper citadel. Okay. Upgrading means you just, uh, highlight it and right click. I don't, I don't know if it's just me, but. With all major resources now at our disposal, let's focus on building command towers. These can be built with multiple floors as well as additional foundations and balconies. I think. I don't know if it's just me, but I don't really, I'm not a big a fan of having games that automatically just build in clipping and like overlapping of textures, building features. Like if you want me to build next to it, it should know to snap it to the outside. And then if you upgrade, it should know to move it out, move it in or whatever it needs to do. Instead of just overlapping it, it's like, why go through the effort of displaying and rendering out a design? that you're just going to completely and totally ruin with another one, you know? It seems a bit weird, I guess. I don't know. Um, okay, anyways, uh, we need to go to here, I think. Uh, Upgrade a basic stone tower to a command tower. Mighty command towers have the potential to reach high into the sky. Their height only being dependent on the level of access to workers. Build this tower as high as possible. Okay. Uh, add a floor. Add a floor. Again. That's it. Okay. Change the floor you are building from. Lower floors build foundations, while higher floors build balconies and sky bridges. Okay. So, E is for lower floor. Command tower foundations are strong battlements that support your tower. Okay. So, uh, the highlight function has gone away. Build four foundations from your command tower. Uh, slightly extend the build line so you see a triangle or square icons, okay? Triangle or square, triangle, square, triangle, square. We've done a square before. Let's do triangles. Got it, got it, okay. Uh, let's do a square. Okay. Okay. 
got one here. Oh, we've got a triangle that we can maybe sneak in right here. Okay. Cue to move up to higher floors. I can't build anything here. Balconies are built from high floors. Okay. The more expansive your tower, the more powerful your commanders will become if they are assigned here. Okay. So, build three balconies from your command tower. Q need to move up. Okay, so we've already moved up, I think, to the highest? No, that's the highest. So, um, do we go down, like, maybe here, and then come out? Oh. That just smushes over everything down there. If we go up. That just smushes everything down there. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's just smush everyone down there now. Ready? This command tower is looking stout. We already have an experienced warbird commander among our retinue. Let's assign them to this command tower. Left mouse button on your command tower. Okay. Uh, and then open the command menu. Got it. Uh, there's only one person to pick from. Oh. He's a lovely mustache. Uh, I don't know what to do from here. New forces are ready nearby. Fly up to their command tower for them to join our battle group. This tower and its commander now stand watch over our settlement. Their forces will deploy, joining our battle group when the surveyor is near the command tower. Okay. Our settlement is established. We have access to resources, a citadel, and command towers. It's time to explore the surrounding area, finding more people that will help us thrive. These are desperate times, so we may need to accept unlikely neighbors. But be wary of who you invite in. If they bring their old allegiances, conflict is sure to follow. Okay. Now it's all up to you. Head out and explore the Ursi. Rebuild our society as you see fit. Got it. Protect yourself and our citizens well. Good luck. I think the the most detrimental thing we have so far in the demo is that I cannot free look. Um, I think that's the worst thing so far. But other than that, I do like the concept. So can we upgrade this? No. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? Why did it go over here? Okay. It's very sensitive if you want to back out of something. Um. So if I rebuild to here, it should upgrade it to stone. Right? Because that's what it did here. It's a bit strange. Okay, we can upgrade that. Cool. Okay. Uh, we can upgrade this. Is there a way to upgrade this? Resource extractors cannot be upgraded. Encourage workers to settle around them to gain more output. Okay. So that would be probably like building squares or triangles off of it or something? Or another like little outpost like this here? 
and then we build some squares around it, right? And we can upgrade those. Okay. Oh, there was a triangle there. The triangle. Okay. So far, makes sense. Let's uh... refugee settlement has been spotted on the horizon. Perhaps we can take these people in. On the horizon? Um, what does that mean? Are you going to tell me where that is? Oh, it is. It's a question mark. Okay. Um, I think we go this way. Uh, that way? Come on. This way. Hello? Yeah, definitely needs work on the controls. Where it, if I'm clicking right here, it's got to take me there. It took me four clicks to get over there. Now we're, we're rotating. Okay, going. Does it just spin now or what? Is it following my mouse? It is following my mouse. Okay. What is this? Is that their vessel? Okay. So maybe you go to their their hut here. Compound. Okay. Um. Fresh combat forces, outpost to salvage and relocate. Progress towards pirate dominance. Okay, so they're pi they're infamous. Infamous Lustenoff. Pirate refugees. Um. These are hard times, and thus they bring the need for uneasy alliances. Additional forces have joined our battle group. Where are we going? So, there's a bit of an issue. Like, if you click something in the menu, uh, or click out of a menu, it considers it a command, and it just sends you off in a direction. So, that's a little bit of a... Um, okay. Um, you know, that took a lot of like maneuvering to get that to work. Um, captain for hire. You have enrolled a trade ship captain. They can be assigned to transport goods. Okay. What is this? Is this back to our base? Okay. Our ship has entered our waters. It's marked on the map. What map? Over here? Is it the question mark? There, there's buildings on the horizon. Okay, what? I am so uh, confused here. What map? Map M. Oh the my world gosh. map shows our holdings, which we can fast travel to. I will also mark any freelance captains that enter our waters, as well as suspicious locations. Okay. Um. We are leaning towards pirate right now. It's good to know. Um, what is this? Your surveyor can be. Forge master young, Ganey forge master. This building houses a commander who is now in your service. Okay. You may reassign them to okay. any command. Again, it did that thing. I clicked on the person, and it thought that the ship needed to go off in the middle of nowhere. So it was, it was trying to run the blimp away the hell off. Um, it's odd that this other floating vessel just keeps following me build around. A wood mill here. Build it and attract. Uh, this is another free house, which is good. You have enrolled an officer. They command a mighty warship to defend your trade routes. Um, your wanna... surveyor can build a wood mill here. Yeah. Build it and attract craftspeople and industry around it. Improving the distance, wood can be supplied in our settlement. 
Let's try here. And then I want to shift this resource back. extractor is missing access to workers. We're going to build up to here. And then this is going to build off this way. That. We're going to connect them up. Cool. And upgrade. And we can upgrade this guy as well. And you know what? Can we upgrade again? There is no iron available for this upgrade. Oh. Okay. Fair enough. Well, let's go ahead and maybe get some mini like outposts for this thing like one here and like one here right you kind of defend it okay little outpost um we're not able to see, like, production. There we go. Plus four wood. Okay. So let's move back this way. Um, there's our stone quarry. There's our original wood mill doing plus 14. So I think if you built directly on the wood source, we would get an increase of wood production, which... Our citadel... Is there a way to maybe, is this plus seven? Maybe we, can we upgrade that? Let's try. So let's do a square build right here. overall influence maybe is just not good enough. So let's go here. Let's... We could assign more captains. Right, we have our, our new captains. Okay. Let's try looking around now. Let's see. The map. The world map shows our holdings which we can fast travel to. I will also mark any freelance captains that enter our waters, as well as suspicious locations. Thanks for telling me again. Uh, we just added in this one. And this wood supply. This Shift resource here. extractor is missing access to workers. Exactly. We need to link this bad boy up. Let's go ahead and run, I mean, if possible, run some towers out. You cannot build here. There is no tower with access to wood nearby. Connect from a tower within range to a wood mill. Okay, so we're bringing wood for the mainland out. Right, and then from there, we're able to build out to our new wood mill to bring workers out. So without workers, you can't build from this independent wood mill because there's no one there to do anything. Now we can bring people there, and then once we do that... You cannot build on top of the sea tree fungi. These are needed to produce wood. Okay, we'll build next to it then. We'll build to here. Okay. W, it's going pretty good. How are you doing? So can I click onto that? Is it connected? I don't know. Oh, we built through it? 
What the hell? Um, hold left shift. Okay, we've demolished that. There we go. Now it's plus four wood. We've we've established a connection. Doing good. Awesome. Playing some demos today. So far, so good though. This is um. I don't know if I like it as much as the previous demo I played, but it's interesting. Um, we can't upgrade that one. We can upgrade this bad boy. Go. And we can encourage workers, right? So if we shift back to this thing, maybe we just build out a little. We can't build on this thing. Or maybe we just upgrade this? No, we can't. That hopefully will give us some more workers or something. Some more foundations, you know? Just build on top of that again. Oh no, it just extends it out, got it. Interesting. Okay. Triangles, let's do a series of triangle movements. Ooh. It's almost like a little buffer uh, to protect like our land kind of a thing. Um, in theory, this should upgrade to stone instead of it being, or is it already stone? It's already stone. Okay. Good. Okay. Let's just leap our way back. So we're getting lots of housing built along the way, which is good. We've connected that up to this iron mine, which is then connected uh, via port. And then that brings goods and services from our main area. So that's all connected up. I um, pay attention to the political influence of your settlement. If one faction becomes dominant over the others, our neighbors may seek reason to rekindle old grievances. Uh-oh. Well, then, we may, I guess, make a military? I don't know what we need to do. Just tried the Steam World build demo. Didn't get hooked on. Hmm. That's not good. Let's go take a look at what this is. Oh, that's right. This was a, a, an ally that we added in, and they're, like, right on top of an iron... I think if we shift over this, I can build a mine on this spot. Exactly. Workers will mine for ore, and the metallurgical industry will be built up around it. Iron will allow our most advanced towers and buildings. So I think the circle around the iron symbol designates the amount that you pull out of it, right? I would guess. So this would be max amount, but that would be. And this is like half, you know? So we'd want to build it like right here. I'm just guessing. I have no actual idea. Uh, we're going to have to bring this stuff in. So let's build a port um, here. Which is great. We can assign a multitude of captains. I'm guessing... Uh, sure... Um, sounds great. <laughs> and that was it. We only had the two. Okay. And then what we want to do is shift back to build mode. Um, this resource extractor is missing access to workers. We want to uh, uh, connect this to the main, um, 
Well, shoot, you know, can we connect to this? A ship has entered our waters. It's marked on the map. I don't know if we can. Uh, let's shift back. Um, let's see if we can build over here, maybe? It's not... There we go. We could build right there. there we go. Buildings on the horizon. That work? I think that worked. So if I hit space and connect it, they can kind of come in and drop stuff off. I, th I think that's working. Okay. <laughs> Uh, we'll drop down maybe like a little post here or something, too. Oh, you know what? I don't think it's going to work. I don't think there's... Well, no, oh, there should be... There should be wood coming in. It's not... That'll work. Yep. So you can't build off of these, I think. That works. Interesting. Upgrade. All right. So we now have connected in that iron mine that was uh, effectively owned or sitting on by someone else, you know. Um, can we go over here? We can. So now they're getting resources. Um, if I click the this iron This resource mine, extractor is missing access to workers. Okay, but they should have workers because it's hooked up by a trade route, right? Or perhaps, oh, I mean, it's got a line. They are traveling. So maybe, Maybe the captain, so if this is like, they're just patrolling maybe? And, but I don't know what a cutter, a sloop, cutter, and then nothing. So, my ship it stands in good order. She's ready to defend this trade route. I patrol and defend here. So maybe, we are connected via the ground. Connect it up. Head back over here. We are getting um, what I would assume is people and materials and such. Um, workers are green, I think, though. If the harbor... Okay, let me hide my camera. Over. So I think workers are green. Wood is kind of orange. Stone is blue and iron is purple. So if workers are green then we're not getting workers to this platform. They just go here and stop. So do we rebuild this? We are getting workers here. Maybe we need to expand this a bit. I believe we're getting workers, but the workers are not enough. So maybe we have to encourage more workers by building out a bit. 
Because he was saying that the tutorial man was saying that you build in and around uh, platforms to encourage people to come around and you generate more workers. So let's try it, I guess. And just see what happens, right? Because this went up from seven to eight wood production. But I think we did technically increase the amount of workers in the area by a small, small margin. Um, assign one defense ship to the other port and one trade vessel to this port. Maybe that is it, yeah. You know what we do have though, right? Didn't we have a uh, the mystery Great ship? War, the Imperium held the resources and the money. So maybe we take this opportunity to go find this other ship. Maybe we can just add them to our our fleet. Um let's see if we can figure out where they are. The question mark is saying this way. Let's head over here. We'll do a speed run. We're gonna head out here. We're heading towards the question mark. Uh oh. Demolish to salvage unique building or decline. This is a unique building. Dismantle it so it can be salvaged. Your surveyor can drop it anywhere once you do. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, let's try to focus, though. Let's find this other ship. Detour this question mark. Uh, it seems to be maybe over here. This thing is such a pain in the ass to just go straight, please. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. Ah, there we go. You have enrolled a trade ship, Captain. They can be assigned to transport goods. Guess what? The political balance in our settlement is changing in favor of the free house refugees. We need to go here? Was it? Uh, no. I think it may have been this. Buildings yeah. on the horizon. Um. Now we can assign the transport guy. Okay. What did that do? <laughs> We're not getting wood. Uh, being sent here. Um, it isn't saying that we're getting workers, though. We still don't have a green line. We are getting wood and materials. Um, I mean, that's good, right? Well, maybe it needs a moment to kind of process or something. Well, I think the problem is, too, is like you can see here, workers come down to this outpost, but they don't go out. Uh, stop that. Let's go back this way. So, this thing has no workers. Stone tower, no workers. This stone tower has workers. If I build, you have to build from a tower. Even if I, so if I build out to there, right? We're telling it to build out. It's not working. This is connected to you. Hmm. 
you have to build from a tower, a central tower. I don't know if that's the case though, right? Just look at, uh, I mean, maybe it'll give us more workers. Like if we build out from this. Problem is, is like, I didn't have to for this. I didn't have to for this over here. I didn't have to for you. And if this connects to you, it seems like there is maybe a limit to how many times it can be split off. Maybe? You think? Because you have a ton of labor, basically, here, right? So what happens if we build... I mean, how much is here? This stone tower has a ton, right? So what happens if maybe we build a port off of this instead? To send labor? Question mark? I don't know if that would work. I mean, we could try. So maybe we, we switch over and we attempt to build. I mean, we could build it right here, looks like. A little port thing. This trade route is now connected. The captain can transport their specific goods back and forth. Okay. And then we want to... You have no available captains on your roster. Find and hire some new ones. We want to connect... Okay, where is it connecting to? Where in the hell? It's going all the way over there. We want to connect it to this one over here. So maybe we take... Switch to surveyor, select. Doesn't look like we can demolish this trade route without destroying the building, maybe? So if we get rid of this, I mean, this is just like tester mode, right? So let's just get rid of it. Right. I want this to connect to the other one up here. So inspect building, open, move, surveyor, resource flow. Can we attach? or run we're not able to do that okay I can I can it's only allowing me to select the building you select the building I can aim off like I'm gonna build right there's no way for me to look on the main tower on top of the iron node there. Uh, well, let me try to click over here. Okay. Look on this resource extractor is missing access to workers. We've we've clicked on it. This is all we have. We can switch to our surveyor. We can build a tower off of it. Uh, so that we can... We could... I don't know. What, the outpost thing that we purchased here? Or whatever you... 
This is just the little command tower thing. That we accepted into our fold, right? Now it has lots of iron, but there's no workers. We've connected it. <laughs> Can we connect to there? I mean, we technically did, but it doesn't help any. Yeah, this was one of the buildings that we added in, um, but it was like, do you want to accept them in? And I was like, yeah, sure. Then I came over here and I built an iron mine right next to it. Then I built the port to bring iron to the main, you know, hub. But because workers would not travel along the route from here, uh, from essentially this building here, Workers will not leave here and go out at all. They won't go from here to this platform. But I'm thinking worker. So I think what it is, is the here. I'll show, turn the camera off. So the workers have a certain amount of bars assigned. And each time you build a tower, it goes down by like one, right? I think that's kind of what happens. So we're at two here. Then you go down to here, it's one, which means that one has to work there, which means there's no more left to go out again. I think that's kind of how workers are established. Now, this was originally plus seven wood, and now it's at plus nine, which means I think this wood mill has gained workers. The tutorial was saying that if you build around it, it attracts more people. So this has one worker assigned. You click here, there are three. There was two here. So, you know, maybe you expand out and it can drive up workers, you know? But again, it's not the worker math, I guess we could say, not fully self-explanatory. But hopefully, I mean, they were saying you build lines and those lines drive people. So we still have two here. Can you add foundations to the tower? I can't. Uh, I mean, like, maybe this one? Let's do a circle or a, a triangle, grow the circle. Okay, another one. On the island? Let's see if we can get over there. Uh, over here, I cannot. No. Um, it just, it gives me like that yellow, like I can't do it thing. And I think it's because we don't have a source of wood. So maybe if we, so then I think it's connected, right? It's showing this trade route line. So if I could just get this thing I'm hoping that it's connected, right? Like, we already have this port right here. It's like... I guess it doesn't want to use... This is automatically connected to something else. So it's like, nope, sorry, it's already been taken. But because our worker split is too much over here... I think the best route would be to just build another port over here that it looks like it's connected. Let's just build one. This trade route is now connected. Okay. The captain can transport their specific goods back and forth. So now we know that it auto connects to whatever is open. So if you build a port, it'll connect to whatever one is open at the time. Okay, let's shift back to island build mode, right? Uh, and let's connect it up to this tower. Which is our main, like, Captain's Outlook thing, right? I think that's fine. Let's build a line. And then this tower has max workers. 
And now this fort has minus one from the max workers. So I think that's the logic, is as you as you expand your colony, you have like one notch less in workers. So now we have a lot of workers going to this port, uh, which means, look at that, we have a little green circle along the trade route, which means we have a ton of workers over here. We figured it out! <gasps> okay. So now we have like everything over here. And now, check it out. It's no longer the orange, yellowish circle thing. We can now build. If I can build this, which in turn can do this, and that, and this, right? So we, we it took a little bit of uh, kajiggering, right? We figured it out though. So, and we can upgrade this to iron because we're near iron, right? We have plenty of it. Just add floors if we want. Cool. Okay. So that makes sense. Uh, A ship has entered our waters. It's marked on the map. Son of a bitch. Uh, it, it makes... I mean, it makes some sense, right? Um, I kind of... I get it now, though. So you are limited to how many workers you have based on how many expansions you've done. So, in essence, if we really want this to, to expand over here, we have to get more workers to come down this way. And I don't know if there's a way to do like a little boost of workers somewhere. It looks like iron runs out at some point, and so we can't get any more to go this way. See how iron does not continue along this line? There's no purple, but we have purple over here. So this could get upgraded. Um, this looks like it's wood, so maybe we upgrade that. Hmm. I don't know if that worked. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, let's go back the to the political balance in our yeah. settlement is changing in favor of the free house refugees. All right. Okay, that's that. Okay. And then, oh, what is that over here? The maw? weird so that's straight like west um so we want to go basically this way i'm assuming our compass thing is in relation to that map we want to go off this way we could technically salvage and move this but kind of want to explore a little bit Is this more wood? Your surveyor can build a wood mill here. It is. Build it and attract. Okay, so we are going in the right direction. So I think we could, could we find more iron and wood and stuff, right? But we don't have enough captains, so we'd have to like bring in that ship that came on uh, our radar, right? Um. And you don't build in the deep water, you build in the shallow water, right? And then you can build your port in the deep water. I think I'm getting starting to get the hang of it right? a little bit and then yeah see you can't build a port here but you can over here okay and then maybe we yeah we build one like right here and those just auto connect because they're close and then now it's like okay you have one open port you need to connect that line so it automatically is like giving me that option so then we can just run our way back uh, to the main house, main building, main hub, um, over here. And maybe we build it, like, right over here?
I don't know if we have enough workers, though. We'll see. It's automatically getting fulfilled with everything. The trade route is now connected. The captain can transport their specific goods back and forth. Okay. So we click it. You have no available captains on your roster. Find and hire some new ones. Let's go find one. Uh, we know that there's a ship over here. We go over here. Hey, yo. You want to join? I'm inviting you to my guild. Um... A refugee that... settlement has been spotted on the horizon. Perhaps we can take these people in. In the hell? You have enrolled a trade ship, Captain. Okay. It can be assigned to transport goods. Oh, these controls. Uh, let's head back over here real quick. This is right here. Here. Um, there we go. Click on it. Assign ye captain. Done. Uh, now, this thing, check it out. Workers. Um, and the blue line was stone. So we have stone and workers and all the good stuff. We build a little thing off the side. Uh, actually, I don't think we have enough workers. I don't think we do. <laughs> All right. Well, we have a little thing here. It's built. It doesn't do anything. It's just sitting there looking cute, right? A little, a little, a little cute platform thing. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's take a look. We do have another question mark off this way. Let's go off this way and see if we can find another ship, right? Sure. You have enrolled a trade ship captain. They can be assigned to transport goods. Let's see if we can assign them this. Perfect. Pirate captain engaged. And we got another question mark off this way. So the demo limit is 44 buildings out of 50. So, I mean, that's not bad. It gives you quite a bit to tease and test around. I'm starting to get the, a bit of a hang of it. Um, it, it definitely... A refugee settlement has been spotted on the horizon. Perhaps we can take these people in. Well, is that like a yacht? What is this? The <clears throat> ship has entered our waters. A manser. Iron and stone. You have enrolled a trade ship captain. They can be assigned to transport goods. Um, what would be the, the fastest way? political balance in our settlement is changed. This would be the fastest way to get back to this port to then um, assign our available captain. Um, which he is, he is protesting my presence in this route, so he cannot help. Got it. And it's probably because he's a manser, and we've been heavily leaning towards pirates. Yar. Exactly, Bacon. Exactly. Or let's, I, let's, before we hit the end of the demo, and it like maybe kicks us out, so we'll stop building. We're going to head towards the Maw, towards the west. Um, If we zoom back a little bit, there we go. And then aim way out there, boom, look it. Good graphics, good music. The repeated narration over and over, over the same thing is a little bit rough. I think they need to, once I viewed the map once, you don't need to tell me like 18 times. Um, It reminds me of like, before good settings were placed into like Civ, you know, where you kept getting the same thing over and over. And then eventually you turn some of that stuff off. So. A bit rough, right? Looks like we got some shallow water up here. Oh. 
Whoa. What is that? A refugee settlement has been spotted on the horizon. Perhaps we what? can take these people in. Look at this. Holy crap, this is cool. What in the hell? Okay. It's like an old settlement, like, uh, it's been abandoned. We do have a question mark over here. Let's, uh, go check it out real quick. Um, maybe this way? Camera keeps rotating on me. I keep trying to go back. There we go. Uh, Captain Bren, refugees. Uh, outpost to salvage and relocate. Progress towards Mansur. Okay. Let's just accept everybody. Um, yeah, our ship is like wigging out now. I don't know where it's going. Okay. Interesting. It's like, um, either it's a glitch from the game or they meant to create an infinite crater in the ocean with weird flow mechanics. Like, that's a little odd, right? I mean, it looks cool. Um... Okay, it's like as if I were building in a sim game, right? And I just create like a giant chasm and then the water just kind of flows around and over it. A refugee settlement has been spotted on the horizon. Perhaps we can take these people in. Let's keep going. The Maw, right? So there's all these like, like crow statue things. Kind of cool. Trying to I mean, look, I'm aiming right at it, but I have to aim, I think, above it. Super weird. Um, progress towards free house. That's good. We want free house. Let's take a look at this thing. Ooh. That's a cool little settlement. Okay. Let's just keep going. Um, still no end in sight here, I guess, right? Oh. Sun is coming up, maybe? A wood over here? I can build a wood mill here. Build it yep. and attract craftspeople and industry around it. Okay. Improving the distance, wood can be supplied in our settlement. Cool. Oh, there's like snow maybe? So we've hit a, a different biome. Or wood? Yes. Or wood here. Refugee settlement has been spotted on the horizon. Perhaps we can take these people in. Lots of refugees. Keep going. Let's go check it out. But nothing shoots down your blimp. So that's kind of good. Right? What do we got? Um, towards Imperium Dominance. Welcome to the fold. Oh, that entire outpost had multiple buildings. Okay, and our blimp thought by clicking it, we were going off that way. Turn around, slow down. Okay. Um, that, I think, ends the demo, right? We can't build anymore. You've reached the limit of this demo. You can demolish some of your creation to keep building or start something new. The free build mode comes with a selection of cool locations to try out. Thanks for trying out the demo. Okay. I think that was good. I... It has a greater learning curve, but we were able to figure it out, right? I think the greatest thing was the uh, personnel worker count and how it gets subdivided as you expand your 
your buildings and you grow your, your settlement. Um, the political balance in our settlement is changing in favor of the free house refugees. We, we went all, wow, look, there was stone, iron. We saw two wood uh, placements here. I think there was another one somewhere around here. And we added in each of these people as we went. So the maw is kind of cool, right? Um, let's keep going. I, I'm zoomed out as far as I can on the map. The red mouth sees the silent sea and then it kind of just blurs out so we may not be able to go further than that i don't know if it's like sieve where it like circles around back on itself um let's look up north maybe yeah there's a lot more holy sh hey bonus uh bonus thing here this map is insanely big so you could build a huge outpost. And then I guess you would need to find refugees to add to your worker count so that you can continue to grow. So that would be um, the point of adding them in. I wonder... Yeah, so there's like... There's like tons of areas. Mongrous expand. I mean, look at this. This is like blurred out. So maybe as we travel further down, it, it kind of uh, gives us vision. Um, wow, okay. All of that in a demo. Not bad. Be cool. It's further north, maybe? It's up here. Blurs out. Oh, oh. northern. Percy. And I, I can't go any further up. So once you get up here, it stops. So pretty big map. Pretty, pretty darn big. Cool. All right. Your surveyor can build a wood mill here. Build it and attract craftspeople and industry around it. Improving Not bad. the distance, wood can be supplied in our settlement. I don't know if there's like an end game, like, um, how to win per se like because you can only expand so much so many refugees maybe it's a influence win or I, I don't know a population goal you know a resource goal or something cool photo mode oh Oh, here we go. Oh, now you can zoom out. Interesting. Oh. Zoom in on this bird. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh. We've lost him. Shoot. Right again. World domination. I'm liking that. Okay, there is a little dude on top of the bird. So in the maw, it's like some sort of falcon, eagle, seabird thing. Uh, and there's like a little dude on him. Look at it. Right? And we... A little artistic with it, maybe? Oh. Very sensitive. There we go. Um. There we go. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, main menu. Hey, that's not bad. It's it's not bad. So that was that was bulwark, falcon. I mean, it is bulwark or bulwark or whatever, right? And it's like falconeer. What is it? Chronicles or whatever. So, I mean, maybe that was a falcon, right? I guess that makes sense, or it should make sense. 
All right, cool. That's cool. Uh, oh. 